Hello everyone. Welcome back to Prince of War Channel. The Bell UH-1 Wii Venom, also called Super Huey, is a twin-engine, four-blade, medium-sized utility helicopter built by Bell Helicopter under the H-1 upgrade program of the United States Marine Corps. One of the latest members of the numerous Huey family, the UF-1Y is also called Yankee for the NATO phonetic alphabet pronunciation of its variant letter. Bell was originally to produce Ilitual One Nice by rebuilding UM-1Ns, but ultimately used new built airframes. In 2008, the UF-1Y entered service with the Marine Corps and also began full-rate production. The new UF-1 variant replaced the USMC's UF-1N twin Huey light utility helicopters introduced in the early 1970s. The helicopter and related Bell H-1Z Viper were ordered by the Czech Republic and the helicopter is in production in the early 2020s. Visually, some features that differentiate the Y model are a slightly longer cabin and larger twin-engine exhaust vents compared to the earlier M model. The uf one Dui variant modernizes the UX-1 design. The B model upgrades pilot avionics to a glass cockpit, adds further safety modifications, and provides the UF-1 with a modern forward-looking inferred system. Engine power was increased. Its most noticeable upgrade over previous variants is a four-blade, all-composite rotor system designed to withstand up to 23 mm rounds. By replacing the engines and the two-bladed rotor system with four composite blades, the V model returns the Huey to the utility role for which it was designed. A 21-inch, 530 mm fuselage extension just forward of the main door was added for more capacity. The UX-1 Dui features upgraded transmissions and a digital cockpit with flat panel multifunctional displays. Compared to the UF-1N, the V model has an increased payload, almost 50% greater range, a reduction in vibration, and higher cruising speed. The weapons used on the UA-1Y includes a variety of rocket and machine guns. This includes 2.75-inch, 70mm rockets on the external hardpoints and LIU-68, LIU-61, M260 and M261 launchers with MiG-66 rockets, Hydra-70. Machine guns include M240D, GAU-16, and GAU-17A. Originally, the UF-1Y was to be remanufactured from UF-1 and airframes, but in April 2005, approval was granted to build them as new helicopters. Bell delivered two EA-1Ys to the U.S. Marine Corps in February 2008, and full-rate production was begun in September 2009. The Marine Corps purchased 160 Way models to replace their inventory of N models. The final EA-1Y for the U.S. Marine Corps was delivered in January 2019. In 2021, the production line restarted to produce the UH-1 Weiss for the Czech Republic's order. 160 have been produced with eight more being made for the aforementioned Czech order as of 2022. Over the years, new avionics and radios, modern door guns, and safety upgrades have greatly increased the UF-1N's empty weight. With a maximum speed around 100 knots, 190 kilometers slash A, and an inability to lift much more than its own crew, fuel, and ammunition, the UX-1N had limited capabilities as a transport. In 1996, the United States Marine Corps launched the H-1 upgrade program. A contract was signed with Bell Helicopter for upgrading 100 UM-1Ns into UH-1Ys and upgrading 180 H-1Ws into HA-1Zs. 
the H-1 program modernized utility and attack helicopters with considerable design commonality to reduce operating costs. The UF-1Y and AK-1Z share a common tail boom, engines, rotor system, drivetrain, avionics architecture, software, controls, and displays for over 84% identical components. The UM-1Y and AK-1Z completed their developmental testing in early 2006. During the first quarter of 2006, the uh one bys were transferred to the operational test unit at NAS Patuxent River, where they began operational evaluation testing. In February 2008, the UF-1Y and AK-1Z began the second and final portion of testing. On 8 August 2008, the Marine Corps certified the UH-1Y as operationally capable, and it was deployed for the first time in January 2009 as part of the aviation combat element of the 13th Marine Expeditionary Unit. The UH-1N Twin Huey was retired by the Marines in August 2014, making the UH-1Y the Marine Corps' standard utility helicopter. On 11 October 2017, the Defense Security Cooperation Agency notified the United States Congress of the potential sale of 12 UA-1 lies and related systems and support to the Czech Republic for a cost of 575 million US dollars. In December 2019, an order for eight UA-1Y helicopters was approved. The first Czech UH UA-1 was delivered in 2023. Thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to support this channel by like and comment on your opinions here. See you in the next video.